Hello everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to be focusing on a strategy. Now I use this strategy for Forex and I think I've made a couple videos about it. But the, this, this strategy is basically trading based on the overall direction of where that asset is going. Uh, today we're going to look at a couple of examples. We'll probably look at... We'll look at Forex and I'll see what's available, but it's basically, you gotta, you gotta kind of see it as it happens because if it's not happening right at this moment, it's kind of hard to talk about it in a video. But basically what, the, what you wanna do is you wanna look at the overall trend, you wanna look at it on the day, and then you wanna zoom in. You wanna zoom in on another time frame and you wanna focus, uh, you wanna focus on, on concentrating on that that direction on a on a different time frame so uh I'll, we'll be looking at a couple assets we'll probably look at forex and uh if if anything's happening right now we can catch it, it's easier to see when when it, it's happening like right now when if if things are paused it's kind of kind of hard to talk about but uh, hopefully you guys can get the general idea uh, the goal of this is to focus on a higher time frame, find the overall direction, and then zoom in closer on the hour. Either the hour, like the six hour or the hour. I do With this strategy, I do not do anything in, in a smaller time frame. You can use this method for scalping. So if you want to do this for like crypto, uh, if you want to do like, like the 15 minute, you can do 15 minute to five minute, but that's not really what I'm talking about today. This is more for longer trades. So you want to focus on a higher time frame, like the day, and then you zoom in closer. So we'll zoom in closer with the, either the six hour or the one hour. So we're, we'll go look at the charts and with Forex and others, and we'll see what's happening. Okay, so well, let's look at the Japan dollar real quick. This is kind of my favorite example to kind of understand. Now I have the uh, the 10, 20, and 50 uh, moving average with the RSI, and that's really all you need to do this strategy. And I've made videos about it, so definitely check those videos out. Now, what can we tell from looking at this on the day with the in the Japan yen here? Uh, what can we tell the overall direction is we got to look at this on the day okay so what is the overall direction of the japan yen from this point on right here it has been in a uptrend you can tell this right here it has been an uptrend since this moment right here so what we would have to focus on is all the moments that it's going up because the overall trend is going up. The moment we stop focusing on the trend going up is the moment that the 10, the 20, and the 50 all collide with each other and start going down on the daily. So, but right now, since the overall trend is going up, that is the trend that we focus on. So, for this strategy, what we have to focus on is all the moments that it's going up. So you do not want to do this on a five minute, even though I'll show it to you. Because uh, the five minute, you won't make a lot if you just focus on those brief moments where it's going up. Let me just demonstrate that real quick. So what we want to do is we want to focus with the RSI of all the moments of it going up. So we see that it if we look, and the strategy here is to look at your RSI, and we look at the moment it starts, the purple line crosses up. So this is the moment you actually get in on a five minute. So if you rode this little pump here, you made 19 pips. Uh, that, 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 I mean, that's good, but you know, you made 19 pips. So, and then if you do it again, like right here, you see it crossing right here. So you ride that out to here to here. You made 48 pips. So uh, this strategy is more for those that want to make more pips and you know more than kind of like 100 pips a day. 
you're not really going to get that with the uh, five minutes. So when I say we zoom in, we can go, we can look at this on the hour, you know, either the hour or the six hours. So what we want to do, and it actually looks like it's about to cross pretty soon. So there will be a good signal to get in right there. If this crosses on the yellow line, it may be a good signal, but we'll do that later. Uh, so we want to focus on all the moments that the purple line is crossing the yellow line because the overall trend is going up. So what you do is you want to focus on all the moments of it going up. So you would get in here and you would just ride it out. You would ride it out so till it touches the yellow line again, which is right about here. So this would have been a 940 pip move in 13 hours. This is, would have been, since the overall trend is going up, you focused on the purple line passing through the yellow line, uh, you made 940 pips. This uh, strategy alone would help you pass a, a funded challenge. So we, we identified that the overall trend is going up and then we looked closer on the one hour and we looked at the RSI and we found the moment that it crossed up. Now, they're not always going to be those big kind of moments. They, they Sometimes they'll be small, sometimes they'll be big. It all depends. But the overall trend is going up, so that's what we have to focus on. So we'll do a couple of examples and we want to look at some other assets here. Um, see that it happens right here you see it's passing through so this this wouldn't have been a big one now you can you can also use your uh you can use your 10 20 50 to kind of see okay so right now it's kind of going down so it might not be a big pump you can see that with all the uh, moving averages so you know that probably won't be going up that much because it looks like currently it's in a downtrend just by looking at the moving averages. But if you were to follow the RSI and just got these two, this is still a 222 pip move, which is pretty good. So I'll do this a couple more times. And we did this moment right here. It crosses right here. Right here is when you would get in. Well, you see the cross right about here. So you get in here and you exit when it kind of touches again. And this is a 255 pit move, which 255 is pretty good. It's a pretty good, you know, if you can do this on, an, on a day to basis here, you can make some pretty good money uh, with Forex, depending on your lot size. But this is four hours and you made 242. So let's just do this one more time. You know, look at another asset. There's a good one. So, see it crosses right here, and we just ride it up. So, this is uh, two days. Now, me personally, I do not hold for longer than maybe an hour or two. When I'm doing forex, I get so I kind of get nervous, so I don't I don't like holding longer than I should. So I do not I would not probably be holding for two days. I probably would be holding for, yeah, maybe nine hours. It, you know, I, when I do actually have trades in, I get nervous and I easy, easy exit out a lot earlier than I should. But that's still, this is still a 389 uh, pip move. So let's look at a, uh, let's look at the Australian dollar. Let's look at that one real quick. First, we want to identify the overall trend and let's see what we got here well the overall trend is going down so we would focus on the moments of it going down so we look on the hour let's look at the moments of it going down now for me the Australian dollar seems more choppy to me than than the Japan one but that's just me so you would focus on the moments of it going down so like this one right here it crosses down right here, right down there, ride that out, you would have made 405 pips in 9 hours, and then you got any more down moments, here's a down moment right here, crosses right here, 
So you come in here, write it down. 315 pips right there. And let's do one more with this one. This one is kind of tricky because I wouldn't technically call that a cross because it's kind of just peaks up and down. So I would kind of see if there was an earlier moment, like right here. This would have been a better moment. So I would have got in, I would have got in up here, not down here. So anyway, this is a big dump right here. It crosses down. This is a huge move if you caught this one. Let's see if I can catch it here. So if you caught this entire move and you basically get out when it touches the yellow line again, well, you got you probably would have got out right about here when it touched here, which pretty much was a fake out. But like here to here, that's 778 pips. If you manage to ride the whole thing down, that is a 1,756 pip move. Uh, now a typical, let's just say one, seven, five, six, let's just say you did a $10 lot size, you made $17,000 right there. That is, a, that is a big move. So anyway, let's, let's look at this with the S&P 500. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the uh, S&P 500 and see if this works for that. So what you want to do is you want to focus on the same thing. Now, this is not measured in pips anymore because we're dealing with the stock market, so we're moving on from that. So, let's go to the day. Okay. So, this one's kind of tricky because it's it looks like it's crossing down. It's the start of a downtrend on the, the S&P 500, for what it looks like. Because you see it crossing right here, and if this... If the 50... If these two lines start getting below the 50, it's going to be the start of a downtrend. So I wouldn't do this right now. I would wait and see what really happens. But for the sakes of this video, let's just let's just see all the moments of it going down. Let's just see all the moments of it going down. Focus on the moments of it going down, which is the RSI is crossing down. Which is right here, here to here. You ride that out, and that's an eighty-six dollar move. Now I'm dealing with the SPX. Uh, SPX and SPY are a lot the same. Uh, one's just an ETF, but they're basically the same. Just remove one one of the digits, and you got uh, the uh, SP. Uh, you got SPY. So let's look at another moment of it going down. Now you focus on the RSI from, we see it from here to here. That's a good move here. That's a $117 move. This, now if you're doing this on MetaTrader, you'll probably make a lot more. Well, it all depends on what you want to do. If you want to do this on Robinhood, or if you want to do this on MetaTrader. I do options now with uh, MetaTrader because I make more Satoshi by trading it, uh, by trading SPY on the uh, MetaTrader. So anyway, let's look at crypto and do Bitcoin real quick. And we'll see, first we gotta identify the overall trend. Okay, so what's the overall trend? Uh, well, it all depends, I guess, because this one is... This one's at crossroads right now. It could go up or it could go down. Uh, if, the, if these two lines cross and go straight through the uh, 50 here, you, gotta, you pr probably have to wait on this for like uh, this a couple weeks for this to cross here because we are on the day but it could go either way uh, these lines it could continue to curve and go down or it could go straight through and we could be in the start of a uptrend we could be in the start of an uptrend or we could be in the start of a downtrend and it, 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 it's kind of at a crossroad moment so let's just go with the moment right here we see 
because we see the 50, we see the lines here. This was the start of a downtrend. So let's just focus on that real quick. Let's just focus on the previous because we don't know where it's really going right now. Well, right now it looks like it's going down. But do the same thing here with crypto. Focus on the moment of it going down, which is right here. Right there's a move. That's a $494 difference in price. If you were doing this on MetaTrader, you would have made uh, 49,450 Satoshi if you were if you were wagering one Satoshi. Now, if you did, I'm not going to go into the specs, but if you did more than that, you would make more Satoshi. Now, what I do is I, you know, make money off of Satoshi by having a Bitcoin on my uh, broker instead of USD. So I make more Satoshi in my trade than doing USD. But if you guys want to see that video, I think I made a video about it. But anyway, let's just do it a couple more times. The trend is going down. We want to focus on when it's going down. That happens right here. So we see it happening right here. And we just ride that out. That is an 811 uh, move. If you were doing this on MetaTrader and you were dealing with... If you're dealing with just 0 .01 uh, wager here, you would have made, uh, let's see, 81,112 Satoshi there for that move. It's a very powerful strategy. Um, it, it works the best, I think, for Forex, but you can use it for uh, the stock market and crypto, but those I think are a little bit more volatile in certain areas. So I personally use this strategy just for Forex uh, because that's my main focus right now. But anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in future videos.